So we wanted to have a place we would visit when traveling. Yeah. Every, everything we put here or open here is always remembering that. Uh, a place we would attend. My name is Eleonora. I'm a sommelier. I'm married to Ohad. He's from Israel. Um, we have a kid and a wine shop and a wine bar. And I was born here. I love the wines from Argentina, but we really didn't like the bread. So we kind of invented a cool place. Um, we call this the Hostel of Wine because people seem to be feeling very homey here. And we like that. Uh, we still believe in the small shops and the communication of some uh, products. And wine is uh, very good for that uh, because there's a story behind every bottle. And we are very focused on those. The little projects, but good. I mean, the quality is a must to be there. <laughs> There's always like some story to tell about the wine um, or who makes it. The name Panevan is bread and wine in French, and Panevino in Spanish sounds really bad. It's like a basic song from the soccer field, and it exists indeed. And it's also a kind of a tribute to the bread and the wine from France, because the bread is really, really French style. We do sourdough bread in a wood fire oven. It's uh, the most, the oldest way to make wine. It, it's a big effort, you know, it's like a living thing <laughs> that you have to take care. Uh, but, but that's the way we want to do it. So it's a hard job, but we like it. The location is very touristic, so people want to come here to buy and try wines from Argentina, so that's what we offer. Living in Argentina is not so easy when it comes to economy, but at the same time I feel like it's a very, it, it's the land of opportunities. We don't depend so much on the Argentino tu tourist or the Argentine consumer, so it didn't touch us in a very hard way, but at the same time the costs of opening every day are really increasing like the taxes, the uh, lights, the unions, you know, the salaries. Uh, everything has gone really, really high. So the cost of opening the door every day has gone really high. Yeah. Also, the little people from Argentina we had, we don't have them anymore. And it's, I mean, we, we keep glasses, uh, like regular glasses of wine for those kind of people. I mean, everything is not luxury here. We have very, very luxury wines, but you also can take a glass for 170 pesos. I mean, the wine is a commodity, so it's the first thing to leave when you don't have so much money. But, but at the same time, it didn't touch us so bad because there's like a 5% of our people who is from Argentina. We have a lot of Hollanders, Australians, Germans, Americans, yeah. I mean, there's like a huge wave of people in December to, to, for New Year's Eve and maybe they, they do New Year's Eve in Buenos Aires and then they go to Antarctica. That kind of tourist we love. <laughs> of course, if you take a ship to Antarctica, you can buy wine. <laughs> yeah. Everything can happen. I know, I think it's gonna be bad. But I would not, I wouldn't be fair if I say that it will touch my business. I think it's going to be bad uh, in, in other regions.